Hello everybody, Michael here again. Uh, I'm going to continue with databases and now I want to work with the MySQL terminal client and I want to be able to work with it independent on what directory I am in. Perhaps I have database files in some directory and then I want to be able to sort of start the MySQL terminal client exactly at that at that library and I want to be able to run the MySQL dump facility we take a backup of the database in in that directory also so but if we look there back on me the MySQL command is not recognized recognized so let's see how we can find out where it is installed and add that path to the system path and then make it possible to just run that command wherever I am. So let's go. So the thing here is that MySQL that should be working but it does not. But it is not easy because we can solve it. So I have figured out somehow that I had my installation of MySQL in this path so I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go here and see if that works to actually... So I just want to check that this is the correct path. So here is the MySQL. I wanted to run the MySQL. There it is. So I want to run, be able to run that and it's obviously in that directory. It did not work, so I'm going to go with user root with a p pause. I have a simple pause. And yes, it seems to be working. Show databases. Okay, so let's quit from there. I know it works. And let's add this path to the sort of the system path of where where the terminal, uh, where the CMD terminal will look for the uh, programs to execute. So uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to start up a small thing that is called sysdm, sysdm.cpl. So it is a control panel item, perhaps you have seen it before. Uh, I just want to start it up because it's easier to just go directly into it. And it's the advanced tab with the environment variables that I want to open up. And here we have the system variables and somewhere we have the path variable there. So here is a large path variable with all the paths that will be sort of searched when uh, when I sort of execute the command in the in this sort of terminal here, uh, it will look through all those directories, and uh, if they find the command in any of these directories, then it will be executed. So I'm going to add a new one here, and I'm just going to paste in everything I wrote there. So you see my program files, MySQL server. So this will obviously differ from your system, perhaps. And I think I'm, I'm fine. Go, go. OK. And uh, uh, go to C. <laughs> CDC colon perhaps I can't even move to see a colon there uh, CD dot dot CD dot dot okay anyway I'm not actually in that directory now so it should work no it doesn't so what I need to do is to sort of drop that down and I will need to uh, start up another command prompt that will then sort of read in the new and updated path and here we see wow there we go so now it is in the path with the user root with the password and show databases and we are data basis yes and quit so there we go now we have the MySQL path to the binaries in the system path and I can execute 
the uh, terminal client and the backup program from wherever I sort of choose to start. Excellent. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.